step up converter with the resistor load the load side resistor and battery e is shown here okay this is a source this is an inductor this is a switch and this is diode here transistor is used as switch so when the switch is closed means when we close this switch this is mode one so the equivalent circuit looks like this here so this is source voltage inductor and this is a closer switch so i've shown here a wire so that current flows in this direction means uh, as shown here current flows in this direction you call this current as i1 of t okay now the diode is not forward biased so there is no current flowing from source to load so this circuit is completely or this part is completely detached and to determine the equation for i1 of t we are using a kvl for this circuit so you apply kvl vs minus l d i1 of t dt that is emf induced across an inductor is equal to zero so nothing is there here so it is equal to zero we are considering that switch is ideal so now if you continue that so using lap i will apply laplace transform to this vs by s minus l d i1 of dt by dt is yes i1 of s minus i1 i1 i will say that it is an initial current so then vs by s you just rearrange this l i1 l minus l minus i1 so it becomes plus l i1 l s i1 of s you will take to right side now we need to write an equation for uh, we need to determine an equation for i1 of s that's the reason take this ls to left side so vs l comes to denominator s again comes to denominator already s is there so s squared so l i1 and denote divided by this ls so here i have shown ls and i1 of s is equal to i1 of s so vs by l 1 by s squared plus l l cancel each other i1 yes denominator so i will just say i1 into 1 by s yes, is equal to i1 of s yes. so now we have an I equation for i1 of s yes. you apply inverse laplace transform to this so 1 by s squared inverse laplace transform t 1 by s 1 so i1 of t is equal to vs by l into t plus i1 so this mode 1 is valid for t in between 0 to kt at the end of mode 1 means when t is equal to kt so what happens here so you substitute wherever t is there you substitute that value with kt so i will write i1 of kt is equal to vs by l t instead of that you write kt kt plus i1 so now we got an equation for uh, what is i1 at kt means i1 the inductor current at the end of the mode 1 is uh, nothing but i2 that's the reason vs by l into kt plus i1 is equal to i2 so we got an equation for the final current of i1 of t that is nothing but i2 okay so we i can write i2 is vs by l kt plus i1 so we have see uh, we are just assuming that t r by l is equal to z so i can that's the reason z by r becomes t by l so just for simplification purpose i will write this i2 is equal to vs k instead of t by l i will write z by r plus i1 so now we got an equation for i2 similarly i need to calculate an equation current equation for mode 2 so when the switch is open means uh, uh, in this main circuit when i open this switch what happens the emf uh, assigned reversal take place is about uh, this whatever induced emf here okay means um, 
and uh, this voltage and plus this volt uh, this energy plus this energy is added together and uh, is transferred to load transfer to load that's the reason so when the switch is open so current is flowing in this way when the, when we open the switch so uh, this switch is open so from source uh, energy from a source is added with energy which is already there in inductor uh, and uh, the total energy is transferred to load the current is flowing in this direction okay so if you apply a kvl now so vs and uh, as usual the emf induced across an inductor is l di2 of t by dt minus r into i2 of t that is a drop across a load resistor minus e is equal to 0 so vs by you just apply uh, laplace uh, vs by s minus l s into i2 of s minus i2 i2 is an initial current means initial current of mode 2 hmm? minus r i2 of s i2 of t changes to i2 of s e changes to e by s then i need to rearrange this to get an equation for i2 of s that's the reason vs by s l i2 plus it becomes plus l i2 so minus e by s you keep in right side and take i2 of s terms to left side so l s i2 of s r i2 of s so now i will take v s minus e by s these two i will, uh, will write as v s minus e by s L I2 I will write like this I2 of S you take outside L S plus R so V S minus E yes you take this L S plus R to denominate L S plus R L I2 L S plus R is equal to I2 of S now I need to there is a term like 1 by S into S 1 by S into L S plus R 1 by S into L S plus R I need to calculate uh, value for A and B so using partial fraction I can write A by S plus B by ls plus r so you assume uh, so that i can uh, you multiply this to right side one is equal to a into ls plus r b into s you t assume s is equal to zero so one into a s zero means r remains and this part completely becomes zero so so that's the reason a is equal to one by r so next you assume that a is equal to uh, so assume that s is equal to minus r by l then 1 a s is minus r by l means uh, l l uh, this whole because minus r remains minus r plus r it becomes 0 and plus b into s minus r by l so b is equal to minus l by r we calculated the coefficients a and b values so due to that reason 1 by s into ls plus r i can write as a by s a is 1 by r so 1 by r mm, s is in the denominator then minus actually b by ls plus r plus b by ls plus r b is minus l by r so ls plus r is in the denominator next so you i can rewrite like this 1 by r into 1 by s minus l by r into 1 by l into Yes, you take out L you take outside S plus R by L. This L L cancel each other. That's the reason it becomes 1 by R, 1 by S plus R by L. This is anyhow like in the same way. So now I can easily 1 by R you take outside 1 by S minus 1 by S plus R by L. Now you apply the inverse Laplace transform Vs. So I can my main equation i2 of s i will write now vs minus e by r and uh, because i will show you the my main equation is uh, in this way vs minus e by 1 by s into ls plus r is our here so that we wrote like uh, vs minus e by r 1 by s minus 1 by s plus r l l i2 ls plus r it becomes i2 of s 
for this I can easily apply inverse Laplace transform so Vs minus E 1 by S plus R I2 here I2 so if you take L outside in the denominator this becomes Es plus R by L and that L will be cancelled in this ok so again Vs minus E 1 by S if you apply an inverse Laplace transform becomes 1 and 1 by S plus R R by L if you apply inverse Laplace transform it will be power minus R by L T plus I2 inverse Laplace transform if you apply E power minus R by L T is equal to I2 of S it becomes I2 of T. So now we got an equation for I2 of T, I2 of T this is valid for a duration from 0 to 1 minus k into t. So how we got means t minus kt becomes 1 minus k into t. So at the end of mode 2, at the end of mode 2, I2 takes a value, uh, I2 takes a value is equal to I3. Actually I2 of t at the uh, when t is equal to 1 minus kt that is nothing but I3. We knew that I3 is also equal to I1 in steady state. That is the reason I can say that I1 is equal to Vs minus E or 1 minus E power minus R by L 1 minus Kt plus I2 E power minus R by L 1 minus Kt. So here we knew that Z is equal to T R by L that is the reason I again I will write I1 is equal to Vs minus E by R 1 minus E power E power minus wherever R by L T is there you just write Z then 1 minus k plus i2 e power r by l t you write as z minus z so 1 minus k k. Now we got an equation for i1 we are already having an equation for i2 using these two I can calculate the values of i1 and i2. So we have a initial equation 1 th that says that i2 is equal to vs kz by r plus i1 so you just write this uh, here ok so we have an i1 i1 is equal to vs minus e by r 1 minus e power minus z 1 minus k plus this i2 here you write vs kz r plus i1 vs kz r plus i1 then into e power minus z into 1 minus k e power minus z into 1 minus k so we got a new equation now here ok i will just simplify this i1 so V is I1 is equal to um, this I1 e power minus z 1 minus k I will take to left side then it becomes minus I1 e power minus z 1 minus k and rest things I will keep in right side V s minus e by r 1 minus e power minus z 1 minus k and V s k z r V s k z r e power minus z 1 minus k. So this any here you keep take i1 outside then it becomes 1 minus e power minus z 1 minus k vs minus e by r 1 minus e power minus z 1 minus k plus vs k z r e power minus z 1 minus k. So vs minus e by r 1 minus e power minus z 1 minus k you take to denominator you took to denominator vs k z by r e power minus z 1 minus k and this you take to denominate this you take to denominate. So again uh, he ca you can see uh, these two will cancel each other so then it remains Vs minus E by R plus Vs Kz, Vs Kz E power minus Z 1 minus K 1 minus E power minus Z 1 minus K. You call this as an equation number 3 so we got uh, now the value for I1 also, I1 also. We are already having a values for uh, I2 and uh, ok. So what is I2? I2 is nothing but Vs Kz by R plus I1. So we can uh, using these equations so you write Vs Kz by R plus I1, I1 we are already calculated you just write here Vs minus E by R plus Vs Kz R E power minus Z 1 minus K 1 minus E power minus Z 1 minus K. So you just rearrange uh, you so simplify this Vs Kz R is a common here you can see here. Uh, so Vs Vs minus E by R you write separately, Vs K Z, uh, Z by R you write take it here and then it becomes 1 and here E power minus Z 1 minus K 1 by 1 minus E power minus Z 1 minus K. So 1 plus this. So again you write as it is here, this you write as it is. So you take 1 minus E power minus Z 1 minus K as a common denominator. So this goes to 
वन देन वन बिकम्स वन माइनस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के प्लस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के दिस टू विल कैंसल इच अदर सो वी गॉट इट टर्म लाइक नाउ वी एस माइनस ई बाई आर प्लस वी एस के जेड वी एस के जेड के जेड दिस दिस टू विल कैंसल सो वन रिमेन्स वन माइनस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के सो नाउ वी गॉट एन इक्वेशन फॉर राइट so now uh, we have already seen i1 of t i2 of t and we are having a values of i1 and i2 also mm? i1 and i2 is initial current of i1 mm. uh, in mode 1 and as well as in mode 2 i1 is initial current in mode 1 i2 is initial current in mode 2 so we uh, we have seen what is a, uh, i2 is this this is i2 and uh, we already seen this is i1 this is i1 here this is i1 hmm? so uh, some sometimes we are uh, we wants to calculate the current ripple changes in the current means i2 minus i1 you can easily calculate see i2 is this vs minus i have a i2 equation vs minus e by r plus vs k z r this have taken from i2 1 minus 1 mi 1 by 1 e power minus z 1 by k माइनस आई वन वी एस माइनस सी बाई आर माइनस वी एस के जेड आर ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के वन माइनस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के सो एनी हाउ वी एस माइनस ई बाई आर वी एस माइनस सी बाई आर इज अ कॉमन कैंसल दिस वी एस के जेड बाई आर वन बाई वन माइनस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के हियर ऑल्सो वी एस के जेड बाई आर इज एड जेड सर इज एन आउट टेकन आउट साइड दिस सो ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के वन माइनस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के रिमेन्स ओके यू टेक दिस एज अ कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर वन माइनस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के सो यू टेक दैट इज द डिनोमिनेटर माइनस जेड के सो वन माइनस ई पावर माइनस जेड वन माइनस के गोज टू डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस टू विल कैंसल इच अदर दिस टू विल कैंसल इच अदर कर सो रिमेनिंग इज वी एस के जेड बाई आर सो वी एस के जेड बाई आर इज डेल्टा आई सो वी जेड वेर वट इज जेड जेड इज टी आर बाई एल सो यू राइट टी आर बाई एल इयर आर आर कैंसल इच अदर सो वी एस के टी बाई एल और एल्स वी एस के डिवाइड बाई एल एफ नथिंग बट हियर करेंट ट्रिपल फॉर दिस सर्क्यूट इज इक्वल टू सोर्स वोल्टेज इन टू ड्यूटी साइकिल डिवाइडेड बाई लोड इन डेक्टेंस सॉरी डिवाइडेड बाई नॉट दर इज नॉट लोड divided by inductance value uh, here this f is switching frequency so delta i depends on source voltage duty cycle inductor value and switching frequency switching frequency that's that's all thank you